Olivia Beth, and welcome to something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and that is duh, Jane Fonda Day. Yes, if you don't know, Jane Fonda is one of my influences in life. She is wise, she's an activist, she's a great person, amazing actress, has written books, did all types and all the workout DVDs and watched all the movies. I love her. She also had an eating disorder and got over it and was so positive about it and very much an inspiration to me. So she inspires me in so, so many ways. So we are going to have a Jane Fonda day where we do the, everything Jane Fonda does. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to Jane Fonda Day. This is a very fun day. Jane Fonda always starts her day with a very nutritious breakfast. So I'm starting my day with an oat bran blueberry muffin to eat um, fruit and also whole grains, yogurt, sometimes eggs. Those are, and she likes to eat a big breakfast as well. Um, but so this is made with oat bran because oat bran is one of the only things I can tolerate. And then also applesauce and blueberries because I have OAS so I can't eat raw fruit, but I can eat applesauce because all the proteins are broken down and cooked blueberries. So let's get into it. it smells really good. We have to do her workout tape. But you know, I'm still recovering, trying to be <laughs> a little mindful of that. So I'm going to listen to her walk album because she has one and take a long walk because walking is something that has really been just calming me today. It's a great time to talk and reflect. So let's go on a nice long walk. She also does yoga and I am on a quest to get my flexibility back because I used to have such a good split and now I basically have my split, but it's still, Still needs a little bit of practice. Who is ready for some yoga? And don't worry, I have shorts on. training which I've heard a lot about resistance training because I'm not strong enough to do weights yet but see I lost like all my muscle I have no muscle but I want to get the muscle back like let's get let's have muscle because I'm very protein deficient so we need oh look you're on top again without even trying everything so she's also an activist who protests and protest in things that I believe in, such as climate change. So I protest you to believe in climate change and let's get Congress to do something about it because climate change is real. I've been evacuated from fires. I've seen it firsthand. It is real. Let's do something about it. So I was just doing a lot of research on climate change and it really is a big thing, which is one of the reasons why I try to not eat meat. Honestly, I really don't eat meat. I just ate a little bit in the hospital because they forced me to. I, I did not enjoy it. It really does cause a lot of harm to the environment. I'm not saying you have to, it's a totally different brand in every way, but that's a reason why I don't like to eat meat. And also just recycle and when you see things, just don't let it go. You know, it's so easy to like not put things in recycle or like accidentally litter and be too lazy to pick it up. Guess what I'm about to do? Get a vaccine. And I have a feeling that she would want me to too. So I got the vaccine. Um, and honestly, like I definitely do feel symptoms, but see, because of my autoimmune issues, I already literally have every <laughs> symptom of COVID on a daily basis. So it really just feels like the same as every day. Like probably my migraine was maybe a little bit worse, but it really went in and out. So it wasn't bad and it was highly functionable, but we'll see how the second dose goes. Something else Jane Fonda believes in is not doing extreme diets. So she believes in having something like a nutritious breakfast, but then indulging in a piece of chocolate. So and since I'm in recovery, I feel like let's have a nutrition, nutritious breakfast and then oh, let's have some chocolate latte. It's my fave. Although I have to have the ones without cheese, so I have to have like cacao. But cacao is actually really good. At first I used to take cacao, but I've really developed a flavor for it. So totally recommend. 
She also, like me, is kind of a workaholic and likes to work all the time, so we're also gonna get a lot of work done. Cause I got a lot of work to do, so that taking a day off isn't really an option. But we got a lot of work to do, so we're gonna be productive. Now we gotta get another electrolyte water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have another pink one. Well, because Jane Ponda said she eats colorful things every day, so I feel like it's pink, so that counts, right? She's also very into skincare because she has very dry skin. Interestingly enough, I have very dry skin as well, so I connect to her. And she's very passionate about hemp products. So I don't know if I have any hemp products, but if I do, or if I can find somebody who I know who has well, some, I'm going to use it. Obviously, like, somebody I trust, like, in my family, not, like, a stranger. I don't do that. But I'll try to use some hemp products. And I may eat some hemp because I have been super into hemp seeds lately. They're one of the only seeds or nuts, because I'm allergic to most seeds or nuts, but they're one of the only seeds that do not give me an allergic reaction. So I'm really obsessed with hemp seeds, chia seeds, and black seeds right now. But hemp is awesome. Like, I'm obsessed with hemp. I feel like Jane Fonda and I just connect on so many levels. Like, I just... I'll be using it's Dr. Bronner's. Basically uses all this type of cool stuff. There's like olive oil in it, which is so cool. So let's do it. Fragrance free, but it still kind of has a smell. That's kind of annoying. All one. Isn't that cool? It looks cool how it says it on. So we'll get our chain Fonda on and be all clean. You're not supposed to use a lot of bases for your body. Yeah. Let's do it. Another thing is she does not try to be perfect, which I love. Because as a, you know, if you've watched me, you know. I mean, can be a little, maybe a little headstrong, maybe a little perfectionistic. But I'm trying to let go of that. And so I feel like that will be very good for me. And she also meditates. 45 minutes to an hour a day, which is kind of crazy. I don't know if I have that much time, but I can do like 15 minutes. She meditates. So we're gonna calm, so we're gonna calm ourselves today and not try to be perfect. And I have a feeling if we stick to this, it's gonna be a fabulous day. So let's go. So I'm gonna use Jane Fonda's meditation to meditate on the word of God particularly Psalms. Let's do it. I feel like I should be crisscross apples, Bala. The place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, the He Lord. is my refuge oh, that's good. and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Mm -hmm. Surely, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler Do I close my and eyes? buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly in eyes shalt thou behold. Now, this is seven hours. I can't do this for seven of the wicked. I, because he hath known my name, he shall call upon me. And I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him. Psalm 91. Another thing about Jane Fonda is she is very honest about her mental health issues, which I, I, it's a very difficult thing as somebody who's been open about mental health issues. It's a very hard thing because people are rude sometimes and stigmatize it. It makes you feel bad about yourself and you're like, oh, we all have like depression and anxiety and eating issues, okay? We all do. Some of us just on different levels, but we all do. Jane Fonda is also on the same page with me about another thing, which is getting nine hours of sleep a night. So tonight, we're gonna try to get nine hours of sleep. I haven't been as good. I've been being more like a six or seven or lately, just because 
I've been very busy, but I'm very exhausted right now, so I feel like having a night of a good nine hours sleep would really be good for me. So thank you, Jane Fonda, for making me a better person. I appreciate it. She also goes to bed at 9.30, which I, to be honest, I kind of, like lately, I've been going to bed at like 9.45, 10. Um, so that won't be too hard for me. And I like early to bed, early to rise, makes a person, because we don't do gender stereotypes, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Um, and then she also sleeps like in a hospital bed where her, she's sitting, which I agree, I've been trying to do that because I'm the worst, and I sleep on my face, I sleep on my side, so lately I've like really been trying to go up and then I listen to rap music to put myself to sleep. Don't judge me, I'm weird, I know. I'm sorry, it's just like, rap music puts me, like, and it's not a shady thing, I love rap music, it's just, it soothes me and it puts me to sleep. But she, and I'm not even being funny, I like dead seriously do that every single night. Um, and then she starts to watch television to get her to sleep, which I usually don't do that, but, because I usually don't watch TV, but I think, Maybe we could make an exception and do a little Grace and Frankie or a little Cake Boss. I love that show. I love Buddy. He has such a good personality. So we're going to do that. And she also sleeps with a 15 pound heated blanket and makes the room 68 degrees. Don't ask me how I know all this stuff. It was an interview. And the thing about Jane Fonda is she is a sharer, which I love about her. Because I love when people are honest and like actually share their routines and what they do and don't just be like, how do I look this beautiful? I drink water, because they do more. Trust me, they have to. Uh, so yes, yeah, 15 pounds, like, I don't really have one, but I'm just gonna put 15 pounds on me, I think. So, it's been a long, busy Jane Fonda today, and it is 9.28, which means it's time for bed. And I'm tired, and we're going to try to get a full nine hours sleep to see if I can wake up at 6.30. However, I usually wake up more around 5, so that's really hard. But she also put her 15 pounds, so we got to get 15 pounds on us. Let's see if this helps. Pretty relaxing. And she also sits up. So... Good night. Hello, and Jane Bond today is officially over. Um, I, we got a good nine hour sleep. Well, not at nine hour, kind of more like eight hour. I woke up at more like 5.30. Um, <laughs> but it was really fun and I really enjoyed living like Jane Fonda for a day. I felt like it was a very productive day. And I also just felt overall really healthy getting in bed that early. So I definitely learned a lot from her and think she's a very wise person. And I encourage you to make one of these changes if you'd be interested in going to bed earlier or eating a nutritious breakfast and a little bit of chocolate or something like that doing yoga. She is great and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to let me know what you want to see in other videos and make sure to please like the video so we can get the channel out to more people. I'd appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you would, I'd appreciate it. Bye.